If you were not asking in a really, 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 really strong way for a whole lot of lovely life, your disappointment would not be so frequent or so acute. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you're sensitive to that. Because if you weren't sensitive to that, you wouldn't be asking. And if you weren't asking, we wouldn't be answering. And if you weren't listening, you wouldn't be able to do it. And you could just live your whole life in disappointment when that's not what you said. You didn't say, I'll go. I know all this stuff, but I'll go. I won't use my guidance system. I'll forget about it. I'll roam around with other people and I'll act like them. And we'll get together in groups, different groups for different reasons and complain about different things. And I will feel miserable and lonely and dissatisfied for all of my life. But it's okay because then I'll croak and I'll reemerge into non-physical and then I'll feel good again. Not one of you said that. Not one of you said that, even though that is what's going to happen to most of you. But most people, that's what they do. <laughs> They just live lives of quiet desperation, and now it's not so quiet. But not one of you thought that was a good idea. You all said, I'm going, and I'm going to be aware, and I'm going to look around, and I'm going to choose for myself, and I'm going to love for myself, and I'm going to love for others, and I'm going to choose lovely things in every moment, and I know that they will change as I move through time and space, and I'm going to ask and I'm going to figure out how to let in what I ask for. And I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to be one who the law of attraction demonstrates my ability to focus from the perspective of who I really am. I'm not going to let step one dictate my whole life. Step one's going to start it over and over and over again. Step one. Knowing what I don't want is going to help me know what I do want again and again and again and again and again. And once I've clarified that with myself, I'm going to utilize my guidance system and I'm going to find good feeling thoughts about everything and everyone. Now, don't try to do it all at once. Don't take the hardest thing. It could kill you. <laughs> Start with easy things until you get the hang of this, until you understand that even very difficult things can lift off of you easily. And when they lift off of you emotionally, your point of attraction has changed so they will lift off of you physically. You could have a dreaded, deadly, deadly, everybody says it, deadly disease. That's hard to think about. But if you could not think about it, or if you could find easy existing matches, if you could find easy existing matches, if you could find easy existing good feeling matches until you actually feel lighter and freer until optimism is much more often than your worry when that resistance lifts off of you and you can feel the shift emotionally it is our promise to you it must lift off of you in every other way because if it's not part of your vibration, it's not part of your point of attraction. And if it's not part of your point of attraction, it cannot stay manifested. That's what Jesus knew. And that's why he said, don't talk about this. They're not ready. They're not ready. That's why Jesus said, go forth and tell no one. They stood before him dripping in illness. He didn't see their illness. Everybody else was looking at it. Oh, look at that guy. He's not long for this world. <laughs> Jesus did not see their illness. He was looking at this bag of marbles, not this bag of marbles. And because one who's connected to this is more powerful than millions who aren't, his influence was powerful. And as he gathered up cooperative components, he gathered up that person in that moment to be a cooperative component to the wellness that he saw. And then he said, go forth and tell no one. For this reason, you try to convince somebody of something that they don't believe, there's a high likelihood they're going to convince you not to believe what you believe. <laughs> unless you've had enough experience with this, unless you've come to know that when I feel this way, I'm hooked in. Unless you've come to know what alignment is, unless you're consciously aware of what your true power is. Really, we're not asking you to spread this message. We're not asking you to wrestle anybody to the ground and make them hear this. In fact, if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would go forth and tell no one. <laughs> because they're still arguing for their limitations. They call what she did a curse. And they'll call your abundance a curse. They'll call your clarity a curse. If you walk on water, they'll nail you up again. 
because it doesn't fit with their picture of what they've decided is right and wrong. So if you can let loose a little bit of looking for right and wrong, because there isn't any, because everybody gets to choose, and instead you can look for the path of most allowance, which is also the path of least resistance, but it's the path of most allowance, the allowance of the whole of who you are, the path of most allowance of your empowerment. If you're looking for that, if you're looking for the path of most love and the path of most clarity, the path of most good feeling, rather than what's right or wrong, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. You have to train yourself What's on the other end of stick from disappointed? What's on the other end? Satisfied. Satisfied or eagerness or I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of yourself? You get the idea of this, don't you? That's the work. Your point of attraction is the work. Your point of attraction is the work. Your point of attraction is the only work. Your point of attraction is the only work. Your point of attraction is the only work. Your point of attraction exists because of the thoughts you think. You can tell what your point of attraction is and the thoughts you think by the way you feel. When you feel a thought that feels like disappointment or anger or any of those things that don't feel good, that means you're looking at it different than your inner being does. That's why you feel the pinched off version of yourself. And we think it's a lovely thing when any of you is feeling the pinched off version of yourself for any reason and you just want to throw a fit. You should want to throw a fit because a big deal is happening right now. You're pinching yourself off from everything you came for, everything you know, everything you want. In other words, you came to create, not to dabble and be sloppy with your thinking and oblivious to your guidance system. You came intending to use your guidance system. That's the epitome of disappointment and a really good reason for it. Because you came with such knowing that your inner being still holds and you ask for such precision and your inner being knows. And so your inner being is just so frisky and eager on your behalf in every moment of every day. And when you're not tuned to that, you don't feel so good. If someone called you on the telephone and said, hello, you don't know me. I'm just calling you to let you know that I'm not ever going to call you again. <laughs> you would not feel disappointment. You'd say, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> but if somebody you really care about were to say, I'm not ever going to call you again, you'd feel disappointment. The point being, when you want something that you are not having, you feel negative emotion. You get how this all fits together? You see, you can't just say it doesn't work. You got to do the work. Well, we're telling you how you do the work. You feel an emotion. You figure out what it is that caused the feeling. And then you're going to reach for other thoughts, other feelings around that. And then you say, oh, wait. I've got a game for this. So you put in the center of this what's bothering you. Other people get things that I want and I don't get things that I want, which makes me think that other people are better than me or other people are more blessed than me. This is a long, long list of things that you do. Or I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough or I should have done something different or my parents were wrong and they should have given me more. It's a long, 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 long list of reasons that you feel disadvantaged. But now you're looking for good feeling, existing things so which of those thoughts are you going to drop in your bag the most often other people get things that I want and I don't get them or sometimes I get what I want easy not things you have to reach for easy existing matches it's about utilizing your guidance system so that you can feel what your inner being knows and feels in this moment in time. It's about calibrating to that source energy within you. With what you've come to know. With what the perspective of source is for you. You could say, as a result of what you're feeling, what you've been living, and even what we've chewed on here today, you could say, it's my desire to run across more opportunity.
to visit with people who are in the vicinity of what I know because it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying to give them the relief of releasing resistance. Someone very dear to Esther, to Esther's sister, made his transition a few days ago. And Esther was writing with Jerry about it. And Esther said, I'm not sad in the sad sense. We humans make that a more tender thing than it needs to be. Tender for the people that don't understand. And even maybe a little tender for me who does understand. Because it's a change. And Jerry wrote back to her, Esther, you have no idea yet, quite yet, the feeling of relief when you release all resistance. He said, you know that feeling of wanting somebody to get you to understand what you're saying? Here, he said, everybody gets you. And everybody loves you. And you love everybody. Well, don't you just want to be like that? You can be. But it's a practiced mindset. And there's a whole lot of things going on that make you feel regret or resentment or unfairness or injustice or 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 you just got to work those out one at a time as they come you just got to clarify your own habit of marble gathering and it doesn't take long but the hard part is explaining to other people who either aren't asking or who are in a place of really really wanting here's the way we explain it to you all in a way that you really get it step one which is the asking that's the need step one the vibration of it of the question and the vibration of the answer are very different frequencies a problem and a solution are very different frequencies so people that are in the middle of a confusion or a problem or a question you just can't fault them for not getting it because they're in step one. Don't ask people that are in step one to be over there with you in step three. And this is our big ask of all of you. Don't feel like you have to join them in step one to help them find the answer. Because when you join them in step one, you don't have the answer. Esther found herself really, really longing for Jerry standing with her so that she wasn't alone doing this, even though Jerry's standing with her. She's not alone, but it isn't what is, it's what you perceive that is that equals what you're offering vibrationally.